Hey guys, Avi here, and welcome back to our iOS development series, Tinkering with Table Views. In this video, we're going to be creating our custom Table View cell. Now, right now, the basic Table View cell that Xcode has is very simple. It has a text label. You can add an image if you want. It's very basic. And honestly, when you get dealing with Table Views and understanding how they work and stuff, you're going to be dealing with custom cells. Custom cells allow you to make the cell look however you want, and then you can populate it in your table view and you can have multiple cells that look amazing. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to right click on our shopping list and create an empty sort of view. And in that view, we'll create our very own table view cell. So go ahead and right click on the shopping list. We're in our iOS template over here. Click on user face, user interface, and then empty. Hit next. It's going to ask you, what do you want to save it as? I'm going to call it custom table view cell. Okay. Hit create. Fantastic job. This is our custom table view cell.zip file. The next thing you have to do is drag and drop a table view cell onto our zip file. So search for table view cell in our objects pane right over here. Drag and drop this cell. Fantastic. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make the height of this table view cell just a bit bigger. So I'm going to go ahead and set it to 80. And now going back off the shopping list application we saw, there's three main components to our new table view cell. Number one, we had an image of the actual item we were buying. Number two, we had a label for the item name. And number three, we had a label for the count. So let's go ahead and recreate that view. The first thing we're going to need is going to be an image view. So go ahead and drag and drop this image view onto our table view cell. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make this UI image view a square. So I like the height of the image view. I'm going to go ahead and make the width 60 and the height 60 as well. Okay. So now we have an image view over here. It's at the middle and left hand side of our table view. And the next thing we need is going to be a label. So go ahead and drag and drop a label onto our content view over here. Let's go ahead and expand this label, make it slightly bigger. Let's go ahead and make the font size of our label just a bit bigger. And I'm going to call this item name. All right, fantastic. And the next thing after that is going to be the count. So let's go ahead and drag and drop a label over here. We're going to go ahead and expand this as well. So let's go ahead and expand this. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and say count colon and then a number. So I'm going to go ahead and just say four for now. All right, fantastic. So this is again, a very simple and very basic custom table view cell. Anyways, fantastic job. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.